getting a point to go through. Yes, of course. We always play for winning. Yeah. All right. Questions from, from the panel? Anybody? Yeah. Coach, um, the Jamaicans made the game um, especially difficult for you with um, the and the performance of Jamaica. Yeah, they play, they play very well. Not just, just today. The, the last time in Panama, they, they make a really good game. Uh, we're very happy about that because that means that CONCACAF is a very uh, competitive song and we're very proud about CONCACAF if Jamaica can, can do two very competitive teams right now. Jamaica didn't have their first two players for this game. Yeah. That must be very pleasing for you, coach, to know you didn't have to take on the, the best that we have to offer. And you see your way through that the next round. How do you feel about that, um, that the first team players? Well, I think that team can be the, the first team too. Uh, they, they make a really good game today. I think they deserve the opportunity. They deserve to, to fight for a position in the next World Cup. And I, I, I show you for sure that the coach is very proud about it. Anybody with questions? Any questions? Now, given, given the, the fact that this is the first uh, competition, the first World Cup for, for, um, for women in, in the region, how important is this competition for the development of women's football in the region, you think? Well, the competition is everything. Because a little girls, I, I'm for sure that they're, they're watching the game and they can see Riley, Marta, like a reference. So if they're very successful, People, uh, persons, uh, players, the girls want to be like them. So it's very important to, to win games and take positions in the, in, in the World Cup or in the next World Cup. Panama has been doing very well in all facets of the game, both male and female. Uh, where do you get your funding? Where, what, what, how, how do you manage this? Because I, I, I noticed that in every men and women you do, you are doing well. Where, where, where is the funding coming from? How do you manage the, uh, your development? Well, the, uh, we try to work, first of all, in the human part, you know, and the education of the players, uh, not just the, the things in the, in the pitch, you know. Uh, we're trying to, to build uh, a best structure for them, not, not just thinking about soccer, you know. It's, it's an, a very integrity uh, project, not only in football, you can see, just the dedication to uh, Mr. Anna, uh, another major accomplishment, qualifying for the World Cup. Uh, just to know you and the other girls team about this achievement. Uh, yeah, to go to Panama's first is obviously an honor, and just to compete with these girls is truly just like a dream come true, and so we're super proud. And uh, we had to work extra hard out there. Jamaica gave us a hell of a game, and so um, I'm super proud of the team, and we're excited for what's to come. You have played Jamaica a number of times in the last few months within the whole year. 
Uh, do you think uh, Ryan Hardaway is developing here? I would say so. Um, I think we're definitely uh, hungry when we come and play against them, and they always bring such a great team. And so whoever uh, we're playing against, I think, will always bring the fight. And so I definitely think whether it's home or away, there's definitely a rivalry there. Disappointed not to be facing Bunny Shaw and, and those guys. <laughs> yeah, Bunny Shaw is a hell of a player, but <laughs> um, yeah, I just think whoever's out there, they do such a great job. And so I think there's something to be proud of for all of Jamaica, and definitely we're super proud of Panama here too. Any other question? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See you at the World Cup. <laughs> See you at the World Cup. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it was a competitive game. Um, thing didn't, things didn't go according to, to plan as best as possible. But uh, we created some opportunities, unfortunately, we couldn't get any solution. But of course, they were competitive. Um, they had their objectives too. Uh, we have to also remember that you know, we're playing against an opponent who has a plan. And we have to find means and ways of, of breaking them down, which I think a couple of times we did. Um, they were smart in their approach as well. Um, of course, it's a, it's a unit that has been together, so we anticipate that there's some amount of possession and what they would have done in certain areas. That's the way it is, you know, we just wanted to ensure that we didn't lose tonight. That was the first objective. Of course, we wanted to win, um, but we're still in with a shot heading into the final game. Coach, what are some of the areas you thought um, we, we lost this match? What are some of the areas? And we just didn't, we just didn't score. We had to score goals to win, and we just, we just didn't get on the score sheet. Coach, um, the initial statement just now said that the first objective was not to lose. Was it in your thought why you didn't make more changes because it looked as if a couple of the girls were leaving? Yeah, and we also, that too, but we also have to remember, we, have, we, are, we, are, we are in a different dynamics than the other two teams. We have two games in five days, each of them have just a one-off game. We have to be smart in terms of our approach and what we do. And I just couldn't be, be, be just erratic and just make subs. I, I, I know what I'm working with. I understand the dynamics. I understand the situation that we are in. I'm just going to give it to all on Sunday. So you're saying it would have been easier to it's, it would have been easier to draw here in your own venue and try to win away. It's not about win away. We have to assess the teams. And and if you ask me and, and if you watch both games, 
who do you think would have been a better opponent to beat? You know, certainly I, I, I fancy my chance more against the Guatemalans. Um, than of course, we went out for, for the win. You know, unfortunately, it didn't happen. We didn't want to be erratic and, and, and throw numbers in front and then we end up lose again. It was a close game, good, good opposition. Um, again, as I said, we just have to be smart in terms of our approach. One more. In terms of the, the, as it, the approach, was it instinctive of the team to, to attack the left-hand side of the Panamanians? Because that's where I saw most of our attacks come from. Yeah, most of the attack came there because, of course, they were they created an overload on that same side. So, of course, we realized that the gaps were there, so we just had to exploit it. And we wanted to exploit in both, in both areas, which we did first half, we exploit um, spaces in between the, the, the wing back and in the wide areas. Um, and that's say, unfortunately, we just didn't, we just didn't put away um, the opportunities that we got. Uh, yeah, the, the other one for Chenilo, um, in terms of the other game, which is also a must win game if you guys are to advance to the playoff, um, how confident are you that you can actually turn things around and get Jamaica in the playoff? Yeah, I mean, I think we are just as confident as we entered the game today. Um, this, this group has shown a lot and proven themselves a lot. It's, it's a young group, but they, we've been coming out very hungry. Um, and I think, yeah, I think we're very confident that we can pull a win. Um, and, you know, we're not going to take Guatemala easy. Um, they're going to come out strong as well. But yeah, I think we definitely have what it takes to, to get some points there. Coach, you mentioned seeing the Guatemala team and you too, Ms. Asha. Um, what do you think you, you need to do to get that result? How difficult would it be to get that result now based on what you saw from them first? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, I don't what, have what, what are you talking about? To be honest, I don't, I don't think it's, it's, it's difficult. If I don't know if you saw the last game that we played and the amount of opportunities that we created. You know, um, but also we, we have to we are mindful in terms of um, how they play and what they're gonna do and what they have to offer in terms of personnel. We just have to, 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 to nullify their strengths and continue to exploit their weaknesses that we saw. I think we have, um, in terms of speed and depth, we have a, a, a better unit to attack um, the Guatemalans and, and, and areas that we think we need to exploit. Yeah. Yeah. So you are, you are on the favorite demo. What's, yeah. what's the feedback from no, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll echo what, what Coach says. I, I, I agree with him. And the only thing I'll add is that you know we're already continuing to build on uh, the chemistry. From, you know, we've played three games now together, and I think we're, we're starting to gel a bit more. So I think that'll be a really good advantage for us. And just being confident, you know, we have we have a lot of talent. So just keeping that that showcase will be good for us. Yeah. And as a captain, you can expect you to be leading from the front and the pitch on Sunday. Of course, it's <laughs> show my boots tied. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, one more from me. Go ahead. Um, two players were missing from the original squad. That was it. it was announced Sashana and Ashanti Paul, I think, are in this. Um, what, what's the update on them? Um, Injuries. So Paul is available to play once she overcomes her No, I don't think she'll be available to play for this game. Okay. So something up then, Coach, your, your confidence level overall going into Guatemala is high? Certainly. Any more? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Ash. Yes, I'm going to This is mine. Okay, good. Don't let it go to waste. Thank you. Yeah. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out.